quick video on branch cache. So branch cache is a way of, with a remote server, just caching the files on either a local server or on a group of, well, on all the client computers. So if you want it so it's on the a server, then that would be hosted cache mode. And if you want it so all the clients pick it up and store a certain amount of data and cache it between themselves, then that would be distributed cache mode. Right, so I'm just going to quickly install it. So I'm just going to use the add roles and features. So it's under the roles and it's under a file and storage services. And there it is, the branch cache. And it helps kind of with bandwidth because it's not having to constantly be moving the data across from your remote server. So I'm just going to tick that and I'm just going to install it. That there is a branch cache under features as well. But we're not going to use that one at the moment. So I'm just going to install branch cache. Another thing which we just need to quickly do if we were using branch cache is we would need to go to our firewall, Windows firewall, and we would allow the branch cache ones. And you could allow them across all of the different ones. But this might let me do it, it might not. There we go. Yep, so it has let me do it. But I've got some which are set already, <laughs> so it won't allow me to do it. Right, so that, so I'll just open the port, and the ports actually are port 80 and, well, TCP port 80, which is HTTP, and UDP port 3702, which is for WS Discovery. Okay, so I'm just going to close that. That's now installed, so I've now got branch cache installed. Let's get rid of that. Right, so my next thing would be is going on to my group policy management tool. Just wait for that to come up. And I'm just going to create a new GPO and call it branch cache ok and I'll just right click and I'll edit it to get to my branch cache well to my parts to do with branch cache So I'm just going to go to Computer Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates, Network, and the Landman Server, which has got some of my ones for for branch cache. And I'm going to enable this. Going to close that. Get rid of that one. And I'm also just going to find some of my other settings. So 
there's also the branch cache under here where I can turn on branch cache so that's enabled let's press OK and I can say what mode it is or it's distributed cache mode hosted cache mode depending upon distributed again it's just across all the computers hosted is if we've got it so there's a server and I can type the name but I'm just gonna go distributed and that's okay you can do a few of the other things so I can do it for network files and how how much of the disk space is used in the client cache which is quite a useful one so but for the minute I'm just going to ignore those and the last thing which we're just going to look at is just turning it on for which folders once internet file explorer has caught up with me so if I go onto one of my drives I'm actually just going to use the office one for the demonstration I'm going to go to properties sharing. and I'm just going to I've got on to properties and I'm on my sharing and my advanced sharing Ah, oh, and the caching option. There's the enable branch cache. Okay, and now it's ready to be shared and used as branch cache. Hope that makes it a bit clearer. And that's all for now.